Johnny? Yes. <laughs> Hit us with your Oscars preview. Yeah, so guys, it's Oscars weekend. It's Oscar season. Oscars. Oscars. What is it on Sunday? Yes. It's on Sunday night. Okay. On ABC. I don't. I usually watch. I don't know if I will this year. I don't really like. Usually, like, there's a movie I feel pretty passionate about. Like, oh, I really want to see this one win. But I don't really have that this year. Um, so the movies that are nominated for Best Picture. I'm pulling them up the list now. And I can rattle off in my head. Um, you got The Father. Bang. You got Nomadland. You got Minari, you got Promising Young Woman, you Never got Child of the, Chicago Chick, seen any of these. Tr- Child of Chicago 7, you've got... Have you heard of any of these? I've, I've, I've them. never seen them. I've seen them. five of the eight of them nominated. you got Mink that's nominated, you've got... But did you see them just because they're nominated, or like, had so, you heard of them before? Nomad, so, so, Promising Young Woman I just watched. Uh, uh, the other one, The Sound of, uh, the Sound of Metal. Sound and I watched music? that, I just watched Sound, the Sound of, of Metal. Great movie. The Sound of Music or Sound of Metal? Sound of Music. Sound of Music is a good movie. Great music. Is the Sound of Metal like The Sound of Music, but like on Opposite Day or something? <laughs> How is metal the opposite of music? Heavy metal? That is that music. That is music. That's a part of music. I'll give you a little synopsis of each movie that's nominated. Give us yeah. a synopsis. I could read IMDb. He's like, eh. So. Who do you think is going to win? Best Picture? I think Nomadland will. Nomad? Nomadland. Ooh. Nomadland? Yeah, so that movie stars Frances McDormand, who's nominated for Best Actress. Um, and she plays uh, this woman who loses everything in the financial crisis of 08. And she's kind of been, pretty, she's homeless now. And she works job to job and moves around the country, really with no land, no home. So she's a nomad. <gasps> oh, hence the title. Hence, hence the, the title. Name. And it's just about her journey for a year of her traveling through, um, I forget which state it's in, I think it's Arizona. Um, just kind of finding work where she can, doing miscellaneous odds and ends jobs, and it's about her journey. Very good movie, very Oscar-y. Was that um, a Hulu original? No, Hulu just bought this just oh, distribution for it. From gotcha. it. It's on Hulu if you want to check it out. I, I liked it. It's an enjoyable movie. It's a slow movie, but the good thing is it's only 90 minutes, so it definitely knew when to end. The directing was very good. I think Chloe Zhao, who directed the movie, she's a great director. She's directing the new uh, one of the new Marvel movies now, because obviously... If you do something successful, then your next step is Marvel. Oh. All right, Chadwick Boseman's going to win Best Actor. <laughs> Carrie Mulligan's going to win Best Supporting Act, the Best no, no Actress. Nomad Lady's going to win Picture. Nomad's going to win Best probably Director and, and Picture. And Director? Uh, wow. Yeah, probably. I mean, it was really good. Mm. Um, I personally, for Best Actor, I get why they're going to give it to Chadwick Boseman. I didn't see Ma Rainey's Black, uh, what, I forget the name, the name of the oh, movie. Oh, Judas and the Black Messiah? No, that's Ma, it's Ma Rainey's, uh, um, um, something, something, I forget uh, the name of the movie. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. That's it. I was gonna say Fat Bottoms. I can't remember the name of it. She had the um, apple bottom jeans. And um, so Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> apparently he's very good. Out. Apparently Chadwick Boseman's very good in it. So he just and like you know posthumous you know giving it to someone who like one of the bright stars of, of Hollywood, you know who passed away too early. I'm I'm perfectly fine with it. But I have to say Anthony Hopkins and The Father was phenomenal. Yeah. And if you like a really really sad movie. About dementia and about losing your mind. Oh dementia. fuck! I'm not watching the that. The father. It was. It's a hard, hard watch. The father. And I don't expect anyone here to watch it because it's a very difficult watch. Yeah. But Anthony Hopkins in it was truly remarkable. It was one of the best performances of an actor I've, I've ever seen. Damn. Wow. If you didn't say the dementia thing, I probably would have watched it. But the sound of metal. What, what music? The sound no, of he's metal. He's saying if you didn't mention <laughs> that it was about dementia, you oh, would have watched yeah. it. Oh, yeah. No. It's so. What it is? It's a story about dementia told from Anthony Hopkins' point of view. Okay. So, like, as he starts to lose, like, his mind a little bit, you're seeing what he sees. So, like, he gets oh, names, wow. he gets faces confused. So, like, oh. his daughter, he gets mixed up with people. You lose track of time as things go on. Yeah. And it's cool. it's really, I mean, it's a really accurate portrayal of dementia. Yeah. From what I've seen from, like, yeah. grandparents and stuff like that. It's tough. And it's a tough, tough watch. But Anthony Hopkins, oh, my God, he was so good in that. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah, and... Uh, it's a sneaky pick if you want to take if you're a betting person. Sneaky bet pick for best supporting actress. Oh is, yeah, uh, I forgot you can bet on it. Yeah, you can bet on yeah. the Oscar. Yeah, anyway. Are you Maria gonna Baklava from uh, Borat? Oh, Borat. Yeah, that's right. What? She's nominated. She's nominated. Wow. Oh, she, oh, oh Baklava, like, like a dish or something. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Are I, you? I are you betting on it? I'm not betting because I have no idea. I'm not gonna. Even, I'm probably not gonna Come watch. On, five bucks. I used to like that's betting on that when you have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I used to like betting on the Grammys. That was fun. I, I think I won one chance, won a Grammy. I bet on him back in the day in college back or something. Back in the day. coloring book. Speaking of awards, I think it was like like a, like 
maybe ru- do they have like a rookie like uh oh like up and past newcomer yeah, or something new like that. Artist, yeah. New artist? Yeah. yeah yeah that makes sense 